What's going on you guys? This is MaxKDI here with another Dell Optiplex uh, 9010 mini tower. Today I'll upgrade, uh, so we're going to move the, the side cover panel. And we're going to do an upgrade uh, processor. I'm going to upgrade the processor. Uh, we're going to change the CMOS battery rate and be optical drive. So first we're going to do is, uh, you need a Phillips screwdriver. And what you're going to do is, uh, there will be two screws in the top and two in the bottom and you have to go ahead and screw the all the screws here so we can remove the heat sink heat sink fan from the processor now there's a four pin right here and you have to disconnect the four pin wire right here from the from the processor cooler fan right here it's connected to the motherboard and you have to disconnect and it's got a secure clip right here you guys can probably see I'm gonna zoom in the camera right there so it's got a little clip you have to press on your finger to release the lock and just remove the heatsink fan from the processor and what I'm gonna do guys is uh, I'm gonna wipe down the processor first just use a paper towel just wipe it down because you don't want to touch with your hands it'll be too dirty get your hands dirty so you're gonna wipe it down the old processor and uh, what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to upgrade the processor to i5. Here's another processor. So what we're going to do is, there's a little clip right here. So you're going to take your finger, and then the clip, you press on the clip to release the... And just remove the processor. And I'm installing a new one. So you're gonna take uh and the way you install it, you see the edges right there? That's how you're gonna install the processor where the edges is at the top. There's the edges that were on the left and the right corner. There's a cut right there, can you see? And that's how you're gonna install the processor, and it's gonna be the top way. It's an Intel Core i5. So we just installed the processor, now you're going to put the clip it back in. And what we have to do, show you, let me zoom out the camera. Now what we have to do is, is we have to wipe down the thermal compound that's on the, on the heat sink. And what you guys need is uh, just uh, use a paper towel. I'm gonna put a piece of paper here like this and I use a paper towel just to clean it off and what else I'm gonna do you guys is I'm gonna use a uh, show you guys I'm gonna use a spray in a bottle as an spiral alcohol so clean it more so what you can do is uh and just to clean it off there's still old thermal compound on it so I'm just gonna use a 70% rubbing alcohol to take it off and this they sell the rubbing alcohol you can get in your grocery store uh, right where the pharmacy is at they sell it at 70% or you can get a 90% in spiral alcohol they sell this in any grocery store where we're located in the pharmacy area so you can buy and so and all I did was I put in a little bottle right here spray it on just like that and just to remove the thermal compound comes right out really easy so now what we're going to do is uh, reapply the thermal compound and you guys can use just a credit card and I'm going to just put it in the middle right here. So you're going to put it right in the middle, thermal compound like this. That's good enough. And uh, I'm just going to use a... You guys can use a credit card like this to spread it evenly. Like this, really easy. You can use a credit card just to spread it.
just like that perfectly now we're gonna go ahead and uh, reinstall back the heatsink and back heatsink fan and now you just have to reinstall the screws what you have to do is you're gonna make sure don't forget to connect the four pin right here back to the motherboard this is a processor cooling fan connect to the motherboard you have to connect it back and reinstall you can install back the screws here and make sure all the screws are tight so once you cannot turn anymore they mean they're Okay, we're done. This side. Okay, and check the other side and the top. Okay, perfect. We're done. And now what we have to do is uh, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the clear CMOS battery. CMOS battery. And what you need is uh, just to use a flathead screwdriver like this. And uh, what you're going to do is the clear of the battery, the CMOS battery is located right there and what you're gonna do is remove it it's got a little clip right here what you do is uh, I can see if I can zoom in the camera so you're gonna take a flat -out screw or the flathead screwdriver and this got a little clip in the bottom right here and you press it and the battery comes right out CMOS battery right here and what you're gonna do is I'm gonna install a new battery So we just install the battery and now be the last part is uh, optical drive and what we have to do is we're going to move the front cover basal here right there and what you have to let me zoom out the camera again you guys can see better so and what we're going to do is uh, remove the front cover basal here this little clips right here take your finger like this and gently press them up like this to release the front cover basil and what we're going to do is you press, remove the disconnect the stadium power cable right here from the optical drive and you're going to press on this clip press it down to release the optical drive and your optical drive will slide right out on the right side like this and it comes right out just like that and this is for the guys uh, Dell Optiplex uh, 9010 mini tower so and here's another optical drive I have here and I already installed the screws here so the way you do it is uh, you're gonna install the screws the two in the bottom right here and the right side there'll be one screw right there can you see and if you're if you're gonna try to install a second optical drive then you can use the screws here that's in the back of the front cover basil there are three more screws so you can install another uh, install another optical drive here then what you have to do is just remove this right here take this off a little plastic and that's about it so let me go and install back the optical drive now you're going to reconnect back the SATAM power And we install the front cover basil. And what you have to do is install back the side cover panel. And you're done. So yeah guys, this is the end of the video. We upgraded the processor, replaced the CMOS battery and optical drive. This is for the Dell Optiplex 9010 mini tower. Thanks for watching. Bye.